The most recent eruption of the Tonga undersea volcano occurred on the 16th of March 2009. The eruption sent ash and smoke up to 20 kilometers into the atmosphere and an inspection reported that the volcano had breached the ocean surface, creating a new island off the coast of Tonga. The Tongan volcano had two vents, one on a small uninhabited island and another about 100 metres offshore. Rock and ash spewing from the volcano have filled the gap between the two vents, creating a new landmass measuring hundreds of square metres. The volcano was located in Tonga, officially the Kingdom of Tonga. Tonga is a state comprising of 176 islands scattered over 700,000 kilometers of the Southern Pacific Ocean, of which 52 are inhabited. The once underwater volcano is located southwest of Honga Tonga, one of the many islands in the Tongan Kingdom. The Kingdom of Tonga is located on the Pacific Plate. The Pacific Plate is circled in red. However, due to its location, its exact distance from the plate boundary remains unknown. The formation and eruption of the volcano was a result of the conversion of the Pacific Plate with the Indo-Australian Plate. The Pacific Plate is then subducted by the Indo-Australian Plate, which pushes the Pacific Plate into the mantle where it is melted into magma and gases. The magma settles in a chamber until the built-up pressure is enough to cause an eruption. As a result of the volcanic eruption, Airline flights into Tonga were delayed out of safety concerns caused by the volcanic ash, but flight schedules returned to normal shortly thereafter. The eruption, however, devastated a nearby island, covering it in black ash and stripping it of vegetation and food. The sediment-laden water is referring to the ocean water filled with ash, smoke and other volcanic debris. Tongan officials have expressed their concern that the eruption could significantly harm the country's fishing industry. One. Constant or random monitoring of high-risk volcanoes. Two, establishing one or several information and alarm centers to inform the authorities and the population. Three, 
providing maps showing the danger zones of the volcano. Four, constructing infrastructure to block or divert lava and mud flows. Five, planning the evacuation of populations at risk. Establishing well-equipped and trained disaster management and rescue teams. This form of natural disaster will not happen in Singapore due to Singapore's location. Volcanoes form and erupt near plate boundaries when plates converge or diverge. Singapore is located a distance away from the plate boundary and is therefore protected from almost all volcanic activity by her neighbouring country, Indonesia. Indonesia lies just beside the plate boundaries, suffering almost the full impact of the natural disaster. Thus, it is safe to say that nothing like this will happen in Singapore. However, although we know that this kind of disaster will not happen in Singapore, it is important to learn about the preventative measures that can be taken to prevent massive loss of lives. If I were part of the government, I would have an efficient alarm system set up to alert residents and authorities. I would also plan an evacuation system to evacuate residents to safety shelters and use effective preventative measures to help the people. Also, I would invest money in employing scientists to study the animals predictive skill in foreseeing natural disaster so as to be better prepared for any coming earthquake, tsunami or volcanic eruptions.